Hey everybody, Garrett from AppMap here with a feature release announcement today. The AppMap team is excited to bring to our already incredible suite of tools and graphs, the Flame Graph. We're going to be talking a little bit about what it is, how it works, why it looks the way it does, and how you can specifically use AppMap's features inside of a Flame Graph to help you develop and build better software. And as you can see here, I'm scrolling through our documentation. It teaches you all about Flame Graphs if you've never read them before, but rather than just flowing through this, let's go take a look at one. Just so everybody's aware, this is available in VS Code, which is where I will be using it today. And in our suite of IntelliJ software, we have the extension for both editors up and ready to roll. And what we can actually do is take a look at our flame graph. And you'll see something unique to AppMap here. You'll notice this little highlighted piece, and we'll get back to that in just a second. But let's go ahead and go over a flame graph. A flame graph traditionally looks like this. It is red from bottom to top, left to right in that order, which means if you can see my mouse here, right in the middle of your screen, this section ran before this section did sequentially. And we can see the individual timings of each of these if we hover over it. If we look and you're wondering about colors, at the bottom, this teal color is the name of the app map or the process which you took, which is basically the default name of the app map. Then we have our very first function call, our kind of our long running function call that's in dark purple. Then all of the classes and or methods and or functions that were called during runtime are up here in blue. And like I said, they stack on each other, each other from bottom to top, left to right. Up here at the very, very top, we have highlighted in purple all of our SQL queries or any other queries that we make to a database service. If we were to see a outsourced or external call to an external service, that would show up in yellow. Unfortunately, this app map doesn't have any of those or this flame graph doesn't have any of those. But if you do see that, don't freak out. It's normal. That's exactly what we want to show you. That, that just means it's an external call. And any one of these you can see as I hover over them, I'm able to view what that call actually is down here at the bottom. Or I can click on one and it will zoom me in and explain kind of what's going on. So let's zoom back out real quick. And if you notice over here, since this is an analysis tool and we are analyzing our application, we have all of our findings here. And this is the cool unique feature I was talking about that I wanted to show everybody. It's normally a guess as to which queries are the end plus one queries. We can see a bunch of them right here. And so we think to ourselves naturally, that is the N plus one query. But if I actually go over and click on this, we were exactly right, just because I've looked at them quite a few times, but you'll notice in white, we actually highlight each and every single query that actually appeared because of that N plus one error, N plus one flaw in your application. So when you're looking at application, your application, you can actually get the real impact of every single timing of how many times that call actually ran and actually gives you a legitimate performance idea of how well your application is performing in the wild at runtime. It's amazing. It's absolutely incredible. Our dev team did a great job with it. This feature is available right now in VS Code. It will be coming to our IntelliJ suite in the next few days. Any links to anything that I have said or talked about will be in the description down below. Thanks everybody for joining me and we're really excited to bring you this feature and we hope to see you in the future.